Hello, I'm Intrusive and welcome out from the depths. This is the last episode of this campaign. I did ask last episode if people wanted a new campaign, and the majority of people, like four to one, said, Yeah, let's do a new campaign with the shiny new stuff. So, we need to send this out with a bang. So, Lightning Hoods. I don't want to be fighting you anymore. Uh, I would like to bribe you with, well, let's just say all the things, right? Really? Metal's only worth... no, oh, okay. Uh, Lightning Hoods, you're at minus 34. That's 12. On the brink of war. There we go. We're no longer at war with the Lightning Hoods. Excellent. That is what I was intending. Uh, which means I should be able to grab all of my forces over here. The space coin. Hmm. And we're going to head up to here. Uh, I've accidentally grabbed one of my satellites by mistake. Can I, like, not do that? Which which one is my satellite? Space coin. Oh, you're destroyed. Uh, yeah, you can be deleted. Sorry. Clyder, are you moving? Good, you're not moving. But who is moving? Like, definitely caught one of my satellites there. Cannot tell who for the life of me. Ah, the Mr. Gray. Um, yeah, I don't really want you going up there. Just stay here for now. Right, and that should mean that we've got the entire force heading up there. Uh, who else have we got? Gorgon, Eric. Can we we'll send the Gorgon up as well? I mean, admittedly, it's a captured ship, but I think this is the point where we use our captured ships. What have we got down here? Right, let's have a look. We have... That's just the crystal and the home base. Pequod, Judgment, Charon. Yeah, we'll grab all of you. We'll move you up here as well. Excellent. Let's go to 10 times speed. Unfortunately, the Vastra and the Tarquin and all that are, are going to have to be deleted. There's no way around it. They got killed. I'm sorry. You did your best. Wow, that is a lot of dead people. Um, I wish there was a quicker way just destroy entire fleet, but... We'll do it one by one. There we go. Now just to wait for everyone to arrive. Aircraft are well on the way. Everyone else is a little bit behind. Ah, the advantage of having super fast aircraft. Now, where is their base? Let's try and find it. Is that their main base? It might be. It doesn't look like it. They need to have like a big shield to be a main base. There's the big shield, right? That's their main base. Hello. We're going to go there. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to take on the Scarlet Dawn in their home base with all of our forces and see how it goes. It'll probably go absolutely awfully. Um, I have no illusions about that. But it is one way of having a hell of a send-off. So I'm just going to leave this for like the next very long time. Very, very long time. Uh, and we'll wait for everyone to get there. When they do, we can have our big-ass fight. Okay, so I have all of our forces up here. Well, barring, like, an urchin and the Gorgon. The Gorgon is actually the capital of the White Flayers that I was just moving around for some reason. Uh, the urchin is just going to take too long to get up there. The Gorgon is actually a fortress, and, yeah, there's a good reason for not having a fortress up here. So what we're going to do is we're going to basically piss off the White Flayers. Everyone's right in the same spot on the map. That's probably not healthy. Uh, we're going to sort that with deployment. Grab all of these fleets as possible, and then get into a, like, a war with their capital. Yeah, that's a good idea. Right, so let's just get right on the edge of here. Take 
top speed is 13.4. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, we've got the up in smoke as well. Let's make the up in smoke the uh, the leader. Yeah. Right. And F1. I can't do it in map mode. There we go. I would like to go to war with the Scarlet Dawn. Hi. Oh, that was rather quick. Fair enough. So they've got a 306 strength here. And their capital over here. We're going to fight the capital and them at the same time. Our mission is, well, if we can beat them, great. But our main mission is to destroy their capital, right? That's, that's what I'm going to go for. Okay. So you can see them all there. Mostly flyers. They are the Scarlet Dawn, after all. Uh, they'll be most relying on lasers as well. They are the Scarlet Dawn. So they're up in smoke. Start back here. As you know, start close and just go straight for the capital, right? And then I'm just going to have to select everyone else and be like, yeah, I want you in completely different places. I'm honestly not going to think about who I'm placing where because there's like 30 people to place. And uh, ain't nobody got time for that. So I'm just going to basically quickly just get them on the board so they're not going to intersect with each other and destroy each other because that would be kind of awkward. There we go. Now, I don't know what size battle we're going for. I probably still don't want it to be on degraded mode. Degraded mode will kick in and it will make it look less pretty. What I can have is just waves of reinforcements after waves of reinforcements. That might work a lot better than degraded mode fight. Because honestly, I don't find them as visually appealing. Uh, it might be something to do with the fact that all the cannon rounds suddenly disappear. Oh god, there are so many things to place. This is going to be one hell of a battle, though. Are we nearly done yet? Yeah, we are. Okay, that's that's a scorpion. Right. The number of blocks that could be in this battle, only 50,000. I am somewhat surprised. Uh, so 30,000. Uh, can I, like... There we go. And now just selecting pretty much randomly. There we go. But provided we've got this in number one slot. I want the up in smoke going out first. And you know what? We'll limit it down because the up in smoke does tend to slow the game down a little bit more anyway. So 25,000, which is still half the entire fleet's active. Right. So begin battle. Let's see how well this goes. They do outnumber us, I think. Yeah, they outnumber us by, or at least outforce us by a good 40% extra. The fortress hasn't spawned in. We're already getting shot at. That's already one of our ammo things gone. That's the other ammo thing gone. Is he going to crash into us? It looks like he might crash into us. Oh, that's the other ammo thing gone. Oh, God. We're on integrated mode. Why are we integrated mode? He's going to crash into us. There we go. And his ammo thing went up. His AI is dead. He's being repaired, though. That's really annoying. I specifically don't make my ships able to do that. Just laser fighters all around us. We're still trying our best, bless us, but... Without any ammo supply, it's kind of hard. I think that is first blood to us. Okay. This guy. Oh my god, this guy looks badass. He can't really fly very well. I assume he's meant to be flying. Like, this isn't just like an accident with like some sort of weird boat. He does look like he's trying to fly. He's not doing it very well. Meanwhile, up almost in space. 
Do we still have engine power? We do at least have engine power, right? So that's something. Ah, God damn it. And I'm down. Come on, we can take him. We can take him. We need to get the fortress spawning in. Uh, what? Excuse me, what? Now, the fact that the bridge got hit probably means that uh, a lot of the control blocks that control our spin for our uh, lifter fans probably... Ooh, no, no, they're, they're definitely there. It looks like something's spawning in. Ooh, did we hit something? Yeah, it looks like you took a hit. Which I'm pleased about. I mean, you're still, unfortunately, operational. So we are able to damage them. I'm surprised, honestly. I thought that they would be, like, completely unable to be damaged. They dodge too fast and stuff. But no, no, we are hurting them. Right, I've got to stop controlling the weapons every time they're spawning. It's kind of annoying. Uh, alright. So who are you targeting? Looks like you're targeting that little one over there and the big one here. And you're not stopping me. Fair enough. Well, I don't mind uh, hitting you with some of my weapons. Which really doesn't seem to have done almost any damage. And this diddy guy here is just sitting there. Oh. I guess they're running out of power just short. Come on up in smoke. I know you can do it. I believe in you. We need some, like, epic music going on right about now. I'm dead again. Oh, we're getting shot at. Hey, I spawned in. Admittedly, like, the up in smoke is nearly broken in half. Oh, hello. Looks like we've two damage to one of their fighters. Come on, despawn, despawn, despawn. Four. Three. One. Come on. And yes! Another kill. I'm impressed with the Obvious Smoke, actually. Like, you might just be like, well, the Obvious Smoke's gigantic. It's a capital ship. It's like, yeah, it's also incredibly out of date. Um, I'm, I am thoroughly impressed with the job it's doing, considering. Ugh. That said, there is very little of it actually still alive. Look at it. Like, this is this is the end of the up in smoke. No doubt about it. It's starting to despawn, I think. Yep, that's despawning. Minus 10 seconds of despawning. Minus, like, 12. It's taking a long time to despawn. Minus 16. Minus 18. Bye bye, up in smoke. You performed admirably. God damn you. Still, for something made primarily of wood, that was impressive. Bye bye, cruel world. Bye bye. We salute you! I expect everyone to be saluting right about now. Okay, right, what do we have in play then? Oh yeah! This is probably going to go very badly. Yep, there we go, we got hit by something. However, we are absolutely destroying some of the fighters. Hey! Immediately our fighters are getting hit, but at the same time... Our fighters are doing a good amount of damage. And let's just get away from space, because we can't really move in space. You're trying your best, bless you. Are you actually moving at all? You do appear to be in the water. That said, you are still firing missiles, but you do appear to be in the water.
This guy's annoying. He needs to die. Is he upside down? I swear he was meant to be flying and the other way around. Yeah, I guess he's gone into the water. Hey, a little helicopter! Yeah. Didums. Come on, take him down. Well, he's actually already down. I guess take him out. Take him out, yeah. You're just gonna ram the land. I think you are. That's gonna be interesting. What, what's shooting over there? We've got something over there. Oh, it's uh, it's a uh, one of our gunboats, one of our railgun gunboats. You're gonna run the land. Please tell me you ran the land. Please, 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 please. I'm begging you. It probably won't do very much. It's going fairly slowly. Boop. Oh. That was even less impressive than I thought. <gasps> Torpedoes! Those did not hit. Okay. Fairly disappointed. Oh, who's got destroyed? Who's got destroyed? Hello. Is it one of the fighters who got downed? Looks like it could be. Oh, yeah. It's a fairly badly damaged fighter right there. What else have we got? We got a uh, Doodlehog class. Oh no, one of the Murrays is. <sighs> Lasers, man. And there's our gunboat. Oh, nice dodge. Let's go and help out the gunboat. Right, we're looking for. Ow. Well, I didn't last very long, did I? You know what? Let's try and help out the bomber. If we can just destroy that one big ship over there that we've had so many issues with. Right. Uh, yes. I would like to support you. Um, okay, I will sit there. We're doing pretty well at dodging those uh, those torpedoes. I think they're actually missiles that are just... Oh, ow. Yeah, I think the missiles that have got submerged. Our uh, anti-missile system isn't working, so we're going to get taken apart pretty quick. Yeah, look, that's the anti-missile system right there. Right, right next to my chair. Yep, it's going down. Oh, no, no, I think I'm rebuilding it quick enough. Yep, we're not going down. Could stop rebuilding the explosive part, though, and actually rebuild something that's not explosive. That'd be good. Come on. Yep, yeah, why are we rebuilding the ammo as a first priority? We really shouldn't. That's just going to go very, very poorly. Very poorly. Come on. That said, we are building incredibly fast. That is because I have like all of my points put into repairs. Oh god, we've, we've got to that stage. We've brought in the Sandman. And there we go. There's our ammo again. Oh dear. Uh, let's actually teleport into the bridge. I said we will teleport into the bridge. There we go. And they've spawned a new ship, it looks like. And that's our other ammo. I'm thinking that at this stage, maybe we should just pick a different craft. 
We're just hoping that we can get the engines online, which will give us a, a chance to start flying around. Yes? No long for some missiles to be hitting us. Oh, we should probably also help this guy out. Um... We killed this yet. We don't seem to have even done that much damage to it. That's the issue. Like, the amount of damage we've done seems to be almost negligible. Firing incomplete missiles at the moment, which is annoying. Once we get our missile system actually up and running, we'll uh, actually be able to do damage, and that'll be lovely. Oh, that's not the right place to be. Come on. Looks like you've lost two missiles again. Yeah, nah, that's not going well. we need is something that can kill this. Quickly. I can do it. Sam Kirk. I need the systems that allow me to operate it. There we go. I need an engine. Okay, that would help. Although, that said, missiles also work. Although only one of the missiles seems to have actually got any targeting. Uh, two of the missiles. Tell a lie. Uh, shields. Right, are we... Engine's still down. How badly are we doing on the engine? Um, pretty badly, actually. We're getting there, though. The question is, do we take out this guy? Or do we take out their main ship? I think we have to take out the main ship. Right. Give me controls. We're going almost 40 meters per second. I'm actually outside of the command bridge right now and about to fall off. That'd be very bad considering I need my control for this. God damn it. Quick, teleport in. Engine engine seems to be down. Yeah, engine's down. Come on. No. Now the supply's gone. Uh, the engine's down. I'm rebuilding as fast as I can. It's not fast enough. I'm dead. Ah. Uh, no one here has any firepower. They're all too badly damaged. I mean, the, the, Sam Cook is the closest we have to something that's actually got firepower. That is disappointing. And that is also disappointing. God, I don't really want to be standing here. Now, I could go over and swim over and stab that thing myself, but what I want to do is I want to just get enough power that we can ram it, and then I don't mind jumping on. I need more engine power. 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 Got 185. That said, the bomber has taken off and actually has missiles that are going on target. Like, admittedly, like, that's one or two. But still.
Come on, give me power. It's getting shot down my lasers. Come on. So little power right now. I just need... Just need power. No problems. I know. We've got jet engines. It's fine. Oh, God. The thing's trying to take off. That cannot be allowed. And that thing's getting in the way just because it can. God damn it. And that would be the ammo store again. <sighs> it's done like this. I wish we had more firepower. Then I remember that they all the firepower's dead. Come on. If I ram it, I can jump on board. That's the rule. Oh god, we're so close to ramming it. That's close enough. Because it's actually going to ram it. Just by sheer dint of the fact that uh, the enemy is closing us. There we go. That is a ram. There we go. Hello there. Oh, got missed. Oh, it's got some ridiculous repairs. I hate ridiculous repairs. Admittedly, I was just doing that thing. There we go. That's one side of its ammo out. I'm going to go to the other side to see if it's symmetrical. Just jump for first before firing because I know what happens in this case. Okay, okay, okay. We died. However, we did a significant amount of damage. Oh, God, look at the Sandman just disappear. The Isaac. Right, we're going to go to the Isaac. And, of course, we land here. Since we have a teleport system, why can't we just teleport in? Why do we have to do the drop system? Oh, God. Of course we get there just a little bit too late to really do much. Just keep teleporting. That way we can keep helping with the damage. That's how it works, right? Oh, the Fowler. What's the Fowler? It's a helicopter. I mean, we've got a lot of missiles on track. Admittedly, I'd prefer they were going for this thing. <gasps> Which we are getting hits on. We're just going to keep the damage up, because otherwise it will repair, right? That's, that's the issue. It will just repair this damage. It's too badly damaged. Yes, I'm in the cockpit. Right, if we can keep this up, this means we'll actually have a significant amount of damage. The problem is if we get lasered, that's gone. Right, that's just instantly gone. So we need to just keep it up. Right, so rotate. Rotate. That's not rotating. Is that rotating? That is rotating. I have no idea what these, like, floating bars are. I'm going to slow down so I've got more time to target. That guy does seem to be getting hammered pretty badly. It's the other guy I want to kill. Next batch of missiles should be away any second now. I'm just going to try and dodge its shells incoming. OK, 
Okay, there we go. Let's move. Looks like we do a fair amount of damage. Right, let's try and heal up somewhere like the Latius. Oh no, the Isaac still needs... Nah, the Isaac's still operational. Are you upside down? You are upside down, aren't you? Why do these bars appear? I'm guessing that's a bug with the current version. Right, how badly damaged is this guy? I think he's getting his health back. That worries me. Yeah. His hull seems to be almost repaired. Wings aren't. Which is good, because I really don't want his wings available. Um, please don't crash into each other. That would be bad. Good. <gasps> Death is coming! Problem is, I think we just need more firepower, really. The Exile, right. How's the Exile doing? Needs a good amount of health. Bars are still here. Where the hell are we? Oh, over here. Right, it's shooting with lasers now. That's an issue. You need to die before your lasers can get to online. So one thing we can't deal with is just lasers. Just can't can't deal with them. Alright. Coming back around. Good, good. Keep hitting those ammo supplies. Yep, yeah, that looks like missiles are out. That said, I don't know if they're homing or not. They do seem to be going that way. Is there someone over there? Yeah, there is someone over there. Still. Good, no ramen supply. I'm not really targeting over here, but whatever it was, I like it. Now we just gotta keep up that amount of damage. The thing is, I don't think they can because they keep turning around to re-engage. Is this a Scarlet Dawn sub of some kind? It's just spamming flares? Could be a sub. Could also be a plane. It must be a it must be a plane, judging by it's got jet engines on the board. I'm gonna get all to target that. Come on, kill it. Another ammo supply. Very nice. How are we doing in terms of health? The Isaac could do a boost, so I'm switching to the Isaac. And of course we've got to night time. Now! Try and find out what's happening! God damn it. Of course YouTube's gonna make this even darker. Which is gonna be lovely. Yes! Very nice. I think we're actually finally getting some of the damaging this thing, but it's going to take a little while longer. It's taking off. Ooh, don't know how I feel about that. It's probably a good thing, really. We are flying vehicles, and it's falling. Okay. Those were quite spectacular misses. So are those. That is weird. <gasps> it's despawning, that's why! We finally killed it! Which means, of course, uh, another one's gonna spawn in. 
this is an impressive craft. I like it. I gotta say, very nice. Okay, who's spawning in to take that place? Oh, look at those lovely bars. What the hell is that all about? They look so glitchy as well. Oh, hello there. Are you the one that was, like, underwater that I was trying to shoot before? I think you are. You are pretty good at shooting down missiles. Your laser defense is pretty badass. They're just not getting through. Okay, I'm relying on that sniper gun then. Oh my god, I got sniped. Well, fair play to you. Come on. Everything's just dark and grey red at the moment. It's weird. Oh, I think a couple of missiles. No, they got shot down. And the shielding certainly not going to help. Yep, all the missiles being shot down. Okay, there's, one, there's only one way to do this. We need to turn around. Turn around, turn around, turn around. We turn very slowly. Full speed. Get moving. Looks like that guy might impact the land. No, he's moving away, I think. Come on. Close the distance. No, he looks like he'll impact the land. Suits me. Oh, I got shot off. It almost sounded like my own gun shot me off. Where am I spawning? This is the middle of nowhere! Didn't I just select my ship? Oh, at least we get the Vendant soon. And we are underwater. Okay, that's not what I wanted. Let's turn to the side, turn to the side, turn to the side. Full speed ahead. Even if we go underwater, it just means we're safe from the guns. trying to turn this, but I don't think we are. So it must have lost all our turbines on that side. It's annoying because this guy's beached right now. There goes our ammo supply. Sustained by repairs. Weird bars in the water for some reason, which are jiggling about every time I zoom. And now he's lasering my friends. Okay, I don't think we can really sustain this. It's it's just not economical, really. Lost pretty much everything on here. I'm gonna go and help out the Ladius. Which I can't do because most of it's gone. Okay, can I help out the Isaac? In theory, but we're getting lasered by an aircraft. A pretty big aircraft. With Oh my god, look at the amount of lasers on that thing. Oh. Oh god, I think actually this needs to be our priority because this can take out any aircraft with field.
we're thinking. What? We're not thinking. Just stop lying to me, game. There we go. If I turn off the engines, we're not sinking anymore. And of course we have this weird bar, which honestly I think is kind of ruining it. I have no idea why this bar is here. I just want it to go away. Ah, a lot of the lasers are facing forwards or down. It's got a blind spot. I'm actually going to take control. Except I can't because we're not in air mode. Thank you for God's sake. Why does it do that? I really dislike it when it does that. Just, oh, I randomly switch you out of air mode. That's what you want, right? No, 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 I do not. I do not want to switch out of air mode. I am a jet. Get used to your station in life. There's no way I'm going to be able to control it to go in the direction I want. I can't even turn left right now. There we go. Pass behind it. Give me a few more seconds to repair. I cannot turn left for the life of me. I'm just going to have to sprint it. Because I can't turn. Hopefully it'll find some other quarry. Right, here we go. No idea where it is. I am getting shot from over there, though, so I'm going to assume that's the target. God, why are we pointing up? I don't want to point up. We're going to hit space and stop, aren't we? And space. God damn it. I really dislike the aerial AI in this game. I really, really dislike the aerial AI. Like, a lot. It just doesn't seem to be able to do... Anything. God damn it. Come on. And it's turning to the side without me asking it to. I'm going to head towards that. I'm going to assume it's an enemy and I'm going to head towards it. Ah! Nope! Suddenly we accelerated right through our missile cloud. Yeah, that is the enemy! That's the one we were... It's got downed! So we just need to pummel that a bit more. We'll be good. I said there is an enemy over here that's trying to shoot us with its lasers. And I'm going to do the incredibly stupid thing of going directly towards it. Hi. And I got it. Oh, don't, don't collide, don't collide, don't collide, don't collide! Oh, we collided. Yeah, that took up the wings on both aircraft. Oh my god. We did kill their craft though, but oh my god. They were both like almost new. Oh, whoa, what is this? It's one sexy battleship. It's using a continuous uh, beam laser to try and shoot down missiles. Sort of working. I don't rate it as that effective. Yeah, that's too damaged. We've lost our bombers just due to the uh, the impact. If they hadn't collided, they'd be alive right now. It's really frustrating. Because <laughs> they were doing such a good job. Ah, no. Okay. 
Then nuts it is. How deep is the water? Deep enough, I think. Now remember, lasers do get damaged in uh, decreased power in water, but not much. And I don't think the la these missiles should have the range to hit that target over there. We'll have to see. Come on, forward drive. I don't know why the forward drive isn't taking us down. It should be. So I'm going to command it to. And then I'm going to tell everyone to attack that guy. Not that I should really need to. I mean, it's a pretty obvious target. Right, let's go, baby. Shoot down these missiles. Or you could just, you know, use those ridiculous shields you have. Oh! Torpedoes in the water! Dodge. Dodge and weave. Oh, it's getting most of them. Those shields. I really need, like, more EMP or something. Has the Venets actually been outclassed? I'm manually just firing off everything right now, just trying to overload them. Oh my god, yeah. From some angles, it's got some serious anti-missile firepower. However, the small missiles are getting taken out. The big missiles are closing. Impact! We are getting a couple of hits in, not many. And my suspicion is it's just going to repair those. My idea is basically just to keep firing everything. Saturation tactics. It's not the most elegant, but it'll do. That said, oh my god, so little is actually getting through. I don't think anything got through there. I need support, but the problem is we need more blocks to get the scorpion in. I know I think this fight is almost a standstill. It can't really injure me, and I can't really injure it. Hold fire. Um, hold fire. Wait until they get closer. I'm manually turning the ship, trying to get us a little bit closer right now. Except we're manually, well, we're auto firing the missiles right now, which is a shame. I was planning to uh, manually fire them, but whatever. Those ones aren't targeting. Why are they not targeting? They're not even flying. Oh, 
hard. But yep, uh, proximity helped us get some through. Still, only superficial damage. For all of that, superficial damage is the only thing we got in there. Ow! Oh! Why did we come to the surface? That's just asking for injury. Just, no! You need to dive! Repairing now. Come on, repair that. Repair the air, especially because uh, we need that. Ouch. Come on, the conning tower is uh, kind of a little bit exposed here. So many torpedoes. Ouch, brace, brace, brace. I have no idea what this stupid bar is. Go away. Come on. Vendance, you're one of the most powerful ships. Against any other enemy but this, you'd be okay. This enemy's just got a little bit too much shield. Oh god, I think we've been holed at the front. Yeah. Are we even repairing? I think we are, just very, very slowly. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, dear. How much of those vessels still got propulsion? Not many. So many have been damaged. Come on. if you're destroying anything. Which is kind of frustrating. I mean, not destroying, but like, you're building. That's the one. Kind of the opposite. Um, I just don't seem to be... I can't see any of our tentacles moving. I just don't see anything... Like, I can't see anything being repaired here. I don't know what it is. No idea. We're getting torpedoed to hell. Like, there is no way this is coming back now. Especially without us repairing. surprised that the ammo hasn't been breached yet. Although, you know, that won't last for long. Especially considering they are targeting the ammo. I mean, it helps that we're underwater, so their lasers are actually doing very little damage to us. But still. 
This is like one of the few ships in the fleet that I thought could do damage to the Scarlet Dawn. Hello. It's close enough now that it's actually starting to do damage to our rear. Which means any minute now that Emma's stockpile is going to go up and then it'll probably be GG. Here we go. You can see the being stripped away. That's actually uh, the ammo supply is now flooded. Towers hit again. And there we go, there's the ammo supply. Ah, uh, that's more of the ammo supply. And we are now counted as sinking. Well, there you go. The Vendance is uh, officially out of this one. Vendance. Interesting to see it being, you know, deconstructed. Scarlet Dawn are now thoroughly winning. Ah! No! This was captured from the Lightning Hoods, I believe. And of course they've got another one of those flying idiots. Oh god. Brace. Brace. Oh dear. And I'm dead. Oh, dears. Ugh. See, these guys, these flying guys, we'd be fine against with our sub. The Venants would have taken them to pieces. I'm very disappointed. I don't think we've got another sub coming. Yeah. Um... You were destroyed, right? Why are you... Can I withdraw you? I cannot withdraw you. Uh, you also seem to have gone. Both the pulling and the playing of this are not available right now. Yeah. I would have guessed because it seems to be in some sort of weird multi-dimensional space. Um, I can't leave the battle because I'm counted as in battle. Uh, huh. But I am now in space with my thoroughly damaged and destroyed. I cannot pull this one out. I am also unable to... Two damaged! Minus 56 seconds! Right. I think that's where we call it for the entire series. Um, somewhat fittingly ended with a whole load of glitches and what I would consider a loss. I mean, we did have a lot of fighters and some of our bombers coming up and so on. I don't think they'd have been able to take the enemy down, although it would have been interesting. Uh, I think the one saving grace was going to be the Vendants, but unfortunately... We, uh, we lost to them. But anyway, I've been at Relysium. Thank you very much for watching. We'll be coming back with a new series starting very shortly with all the new craziness and all that stuff. So, you know, 
um, new, new engines and so on to have a look at. Uh, the, the buoyancy now is calculated uh, per like area rather than like just around the center mass, which means that, like if you have a hole in one side of your ship, you start to list and stuff. Uh, there's of course uh, new new mechanics to do with resources. So instead of having a cloud in the sky that gives you resources, you each individually have resources. You have to move them around, like have tanker ships and stuff. And all of this we can experience in a new campaign, and hopefully uh, without some of these bugs. So, yeah. Anyway, till next time, stay shiny.